you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever i drop amazing content like this i teach strategies that you can use in your day-to-day -day activities as a trader so in this video i want to teach you three models to successfully trade even as a beginner, when we talk about models, it means what you should look out for in the market. It has been proven that 90% of the psychological issues that trader has is because they do not plan their trade. They don't plan their trades. They don't even know what to look out for in the market okay so if you know what you should look out for in the market you would definitely not have any issues so you need to consistently learn what you should look out for in the market and how to zero your emotions when you are trading in the financial market so i'm just going to be sharing with you three models that you should look out for in the market even if you are a beginner it is very clear it is always in the market often so I'm going to be explaining these three models. I'm going to be explaining the psychology behind these models. And by the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you what they are dependent on. These models are not independent. You can't just go into the market and say, oh, this is what I want to look out for. Once I see it, I'm just going to make a decision on trading the market. No, they are dependent on some other factors. They are dependent on some other technical analysis so i'm going to show you what they are dependent on by the end of this video i'm just going to be explaining this right now and i am going to show you guys on chat what they look like i'm going to show you what they look like on chat so the first one is the on technique i have input all of this technique into just this structure into this structure i have input the three techniques so I'm going to be explaining to you one by one and what they stand for, why you should look out for them. Okay, the one, the first one is the ONS technique. Now I'm talking about the ONS technique. I have made a video as regards ONS of liquidity before. So if you know about ONS of liquidity, this one is definitely not going to be a problem for you. So we had a movement to the hop side, we created this high. And markets want to start a pullback. Remember, we cannot just have a pure movement to the upside without a pullback. Markets will always come back and give us a pullback. Okay? So we started our pullback to the downside. We created this low. We created this high. Then we created this low again. Now, many traders would want to take advantage of this area to continue the sell to the downside in as much as they know that the market is in a, is in an uptrend they would want to take advantage of this area to give a sell to the downside now remember that when we have a pullback the market is always very manipulative the reason the market is manipulative in a pullback is because it wants to convince you on where to enter the market okay you know we can never know the end of a pullback unless the market says okay i have ended my pullback that is when you will know the end you do not know where the market is going because we work based on probabilities so the now the market has created this area the market created this area and a lot of traders would want to sell from this area just to enter into the POI properly. And this low, this particular low that happened here, you would always see it happen at maybe when the market has gotten to a week of your other block or the market has gotten to an area where it wants to use as an inducement. The market will just make some manipulation here and then it will break this eye to the upside. It will break this particular high to the upside so that you can be convinced that the market has gotten into a PO high and then you can move to the up side. It will break this high. Now, see what the markets will do. Some traders will enter at this point, at this uh, order block, at this supply can do. Some people will enter at this place just to take out this low because they are looking for just some pullback to enter into our normal point of interest now the market will take them out 
Immediately, the market takes them out. They believe that we have a break of structure to the upside because uh, the market has got into the week of an other block around this area. The market has got into the week of an other block around this area. So they believe that this eye being broken, it simply means it has given us a break of market structure. But market is very, very manipulative when it comes to trading in a pullback. After the market has taken out this eye, it will come back and take this low. Now, traders will be looking forward to, to buy here. They will be looking forward to buy at this demand can do. Why? Because the market has broken this high, this particular high. The market has taken it to the upside. So they would believe that it simply means market has got into the harder block properly for them to continue in the buy movement. But markets will just deceive these traders, take this high out, then come back and earn this low. Now, this is not necessarily a break of structure to the downside, but traders will classify it as another break of structure to the downside. It is an ounce of liquidity. It is an ounce of this low. The market will earn this particular low. After the market has haunted it, we will have a continuation in the direction they predicted. So always look out for liquidity build-up. When you are trading in the financial market, the market moves based on liquidity, based on money. So you have to look out for your liquidity build-up. So this is definitely a liquidity build-up here. And that is why I classified it as model one. This is my first model. This is the first technique I am going to be explaining to you guys. And immediately we had the break of this eye. We know that this eye will be taken and then we will move into the off side. So the first one is our aunt of liquidity. Now, after the market has haunted liquidity, you will see very minor break here. We call it initiation. We call it the first BMS. You will see a minor BMS around this area for you to continue in your buy move. And that is how you are going to join the market. So look out for aunt of liquidity, aunt of low, the aunt technique. Look out for it in your model. Okay? The second model is the exhaustion technique. This one is very simple. The market will only use the pullback to build up liquidity. The pullback will be used in building up liquidity. You can see trend line liquidity. You can see different type of liquidity in the exhaustion technique. Different type of liquidity. You can see this uh, trend line liquidity as exhaustion. The market does not have enough movement just to be uh, pulling to the downside to be pulling to the downside. No, the market will just give you some exhaustion move that it just wants to do a correction and then move to the upside. This uh, technique is very, very simple. You just see the market move to the downside and it is going to use that pullback as build up liquidity. And then you're going to see the market get your supplies at your demand zone. The market will get to your demand zone and then it's going to give you a continuation. This is the exhaustion move. This is the exhaustion move for these models. You can see it is it is a very simple one. Amongst the, the three, it is the simplest one, this exhaustion. It will just give you some pullback. You will know that, no, this is a pullback. This is definitely a pullback. Then you just enter the market after the first BMS, when your range structure has been broken, you just enter the market and then you continue to the upside. Then the third one is the inducement technique. After we had this break of structure to the upside, we had this break of structure to the upside, we had a break of structure also here. So let's find that out. So this is a break of structure to the upside. After we had our break of structure to the upside, the market created this slow and it could not get to our demand area. 
before giving us another break of structure to the upside. After this market gave us break of structure to the upside, basically this low is to be considered as an inducement. Why? Because after this high, this was the low that was created immediately we had the break of this high. So this is our secondary inducement. If you've not watched my video on inducement, kindly check it out. This is our secondary inducement. This low is the secondary inducement. Why? Because we did not even get to our demand area. The market just got in between somewhere and then made a continuation to the upside, to break structure to the upside. This is the second, this is the third model you should look out for. Third model you should look out for if you want to trade in the financial markets. Look out for this third model. The first model is the aunt technique. The second technique is the exhaustion. You just see exhaustion. The market gives a buildup of liquidity. Then the third one is the inducement technique. Markets will break a structure to the upside, come back and break that structure to the upside again, break another structure to the upside, and then come back and reach that low. Now, traders will believe that this is a break of structure to the upside, and they will be looking forward to sell from this area. They will be looking forward to sell from this area. Now, I think I'm going to make a video on why inducement happens. I'll make a video on why inducement happens there probably a strong area here where the market just got to and then it's rejected and then we had this liquidity taken out we had this inducement taken out and then we got into our proper demand candle and then we made a continuation to the up side so i'm going to be showing you all of this on chat right now but take note of this Take note of this particular movement the market always give. You will always see any of this model on your chart. So let's just go into chat and then I am going to give an explanation on that. So let's go directly into our chat and then give an explanation to that. Okay, guys. Remember, we have the own technique. We have the inducement technique and then we have the exhaustion technique so i'm going to go into chat right now and explain to you guys all right so this is volatility Volatility 50, and that is what we're going to be using for our explanation. If you want to register with my broker where you can trade 24 hours in seven days, the link is in the description. All right, so now this is a perfect example of exhaustion. This is a perfect example of exhaustion pullback. See? Market gave this pullback. We did not have unnecessary ounce of liquidity. We did not have unnecessary inducements. The market just broke structure to the downside. As you can see it here, after the market gave break of structure to the downside, then we came back into the market. It is a very simple movement. You can see the market just came back into this area and then continue in the down move. So let me just use this area to explain to you guys about the aunt and the and this is a perfect example of the exhaustion also see this guys you can see that there is a lot of candles created here i mean there is a lot of candles created here the market just did the exhaustion move to come back into this supply area, to come back into the supply area and then give a continuation to the downside. You can see we had that exhaustion move. 
there was an exhaustion move. The market was just giving a low, a high, a low, a high, a low, a high. And then the market gave a continuation to the downside. Let's look at our aunt of liquidity, aunt technique, the aunt technique. Now, if you want to take advantage of this buy to the upside, that was exactly the same thing this market did here. This market did exactly the same thing. So we had our break of structure to the downside here. Yeah, this was our minor break of structure. After we had this break of structure to the downside, the market created a low, created another high, created a low, came back and untouched this high. Came back and untouched this high. After we, after we induced this high, the market came back and induced this high. After the inducement, the market came back and untouched this low. Market came back and untouched this low. And immediately we had on top of this low. You can see how the market pulled to the upside. And it also gave us this exhaustion. The market made us know that we are heading towards a supply can do whereby we are going to continue in our sell movement. So that was the reason it was giving this exhaustion movement. If you wanted to join this buy move to the upside to take out this high, there is a little break of structure here. And after we had this high break, the market came back and used this area for a continuation to the upside. And also the market gave us an inducement technique here also. Market gave us an inducement technique here. Remember we had this break of structure to the upside. We had the break of structure to the upside here. After the break of structure, we had a new break of structure. Now remember I said this inducement, it always happened when market has gotten into maybe a week of the supply can do and then it came back to on slow and then make a continuation. See what happened here. The market has got into the week here. The market has got into this area. Then it came back and took out this low. As our inducement, a lot of traders, a lot of traders, if you are not careful, even as a professional trader, you will mistaken this for a break of structure. You mistaking this for a break of structure, but see what the market did. And after inducement, market came back and untouched this eye again. And after the end of this eye, we did what? We had a continuation to the downside. Market took out this low as a break of structure, gave us exhaustion for us to continue to the downside. After market gave us this, this break of structure also, market gave us an exhaustion movement and came to this supply can do for itself that's what happened here again after we had our break of structure to the upside to the downside rather we had a break of structure to the downside here we can say market is giving us an exhaustion move to come into to come into where to come into our supply can do for a continuation to the downside. You can see how the exhaustion movement has been happening. So we can say the market might come into this area, onto this eye, and then make a continuation to the downside. It is very simple as these guys. We have the ont technique, we have the exhaustion technique, we have the inducement technique. Once you see this model on your chart, look for a minor break of structure and then make a continuation in the direction you want to go and that is going to be all that is all it is as simple as that just study the model guys and then you are good to go if you have any question about this particular topic drop a comment in the comment section i will be here to answer you and if you enjoyed this this uh this is my training. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, guys. So I told you that I'm going to tell you what these techniques are dependent on. Number one, these techniques are dependent on structure. If you don't know the higher time frame structure, I'm sorry, you can't just get into the market and just mark out 
techniques or just mark out your models. You can't do that. So this technique is based on structure. You need to know your structure. You need to know your structure. See all these things that happened here. They are structure, but it confused a lot of traders. Imagine we had this movement to the upside. You know, trader will be looking forward to buy from here and then take this high. But instead, market came back and then it haunted this low. Now, a lot of traders will say this is a break of structure to the downside, to continue to the downside, looking for an area where they will continue their sell movement. But what did the market do? It took out this eye. After taking out this eye, what was the next thing the market did? We still did ounce of liquidity here. Imagine, guys. All these things are based on structure. We did ounce of liquidity here again. And the market continued to the up to the downside. This is the normal movement to the downside. This is the normal movement. If you check the higher time frame, if you check the weekly time frame, you will know that the normal movement, the last break of structure, is to the downside. So there is nothing you want to be doing with a buy movement. So you should just know what the market is doing on the higher time frame. So I said what these things are dependent on is number one structure. Number two, know the limit your liquidity has to go. Know the expire time for your liquidity. For instance, let me show you what happened here, guys. This particular movement, the expiration of this movement is this high. And once it takes this high, that liquidity is expired. The market does not have the strength to come and break this high because that's not the expiry point. This is the expiry point of this particular movement. Now, this movement, this particular ounce of liquidity, where is the expiry period? This I is the expiry time for this particular movement to the offside. This movement to the offside that we had ounce of liquidity. The expiry point is this I. And also, you can't just expect the market to take this I as the expiry point. No, you need to know the expiry point of your liquidity. Okay, know the expiry point of your liquidity, and you are good to go. For instance, when we had this movement to the downside and then we had this low taken as an inducement, the expiry point I'm going to be looking out for is this high, this particular high. I'm not expecting, I'm not setting my my uh, gaze so high. I'm not setting it so high because I know where the liquidity is going to expire. So after that, the market will seek for another liquidity to continue the movement. Liquidity always foil movement. So I'm going to be looking out for the liquidity the market will take to foil the movement. So it is dependent on liquidity expiry. Where is the liquidity going to expire? Once you know these two things, using your models will be very, very, very simple. Using those models I have said in this video will be very simple. So just focus on these two things, guys, and then make use of the model and you are good to go. So that's going to be all for now, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Keep living in the atmosphere of profit. Bye, guys.